Behind curtain number one, we have a Cadillac that we have to put a power steering pump in today. So what is this thing? A 76 Coupe de Ville with the 500 cubic inch motor. Yeehaw, Woohoo! All right, we gotta get this pump off first. Or bolt down in that way, it's gonna go right into the uh, pump. And let me loosen these up first, see if we get this thing popped off. We also have a new power steering, the high pressure hose. That goes all the way back to the uh, steering box over there. I gotta figure out which one is which. We got some poor lighting here. We're working under diverse conditions. We're not in our uh, usual place. Uh, we'll figure this out. There's a whole lot of 9 16th bolts holding everything in place. I got all these loosened up. One, two, three. The ones that the adjuster is on over here, one, two, and it's the only hard one is one all the way down, basically on top of the fuel pump. It's a third one that this whole bracket will pivot on. The uh, hose is five eighths wrench, flare wrench helps out. I got this one with a regular wrench. And then we got to fight with this original style uh, clamp here that's still on the return line. So. Great clamps, but not fun to loosen up. We'll get that slipped off, and then we'll get the pump out of here. And gotta get the belt popped off too. I need two hands, so we'll come back when this is all off. These will help wrestling this off. See how much leaks out. The reservoir is empty. That's just from sitting here. That's how bad this thing leaks. Pulley's all wobbly. The hose, the high pressure hose is also bad. That's already loose, as you can see. Let's use the pliers to uh, back it out the rest of the way. And there, there we go. There's some drippage. Now the rest of these bolts can come out. And we should be able to pull this whole thing out. That wasn't too bad. That's that other bolt I'm talking about all the way on the bottom uh, bracket right there. That allows this to uh, pivot. That's the pivot point. We can get this out, put it on the bench, and we have to remove the pulley on it. Okay, here's what we got. A Cardone pump and a Sunsong hose. Yeah. I've had problems with this brand before, so we'll see if this is gonna work out. Looks good, see if it fits good. Now, this has to come off with a puller. Before we do that, we are going to wire wheel all around here and then spray some penetrant on it. That's all cleaned. A little bit of penetrating oil. Here's the puller. This one's a KD. There's other brands out there. I've had this for years. This one's broken, this puller stud. Hopefully that's not the one we need. Get this thing set up and uh, pull this off. If you're desperate, you could heat it up. We're gonna try not to. That's how this works. That's the other piece. Hold that with a big wrench, turn this down, and it should pull the pulley right off. Okay, we're all set up. Use a device to kind of hold it. Ah, crack, that's good. My helper is busy sleeping. Hey, you want to help? Yeah, too tired. All right. Get back to sleep. All right, success. I'm 
Now, you can't just smash this pulley on because you'll damage the pump. So you need to use the puller to actually push it back on. Thread in one of the adapters in here and you'll thread that on. And they give you a little bearing that's gonna ride against the pulley. And then you're gonna tighten it up, holding that and turning this. Oh, look who's awake to help now. It came just in time. You gotta run this down until the bottom's out. This is taking forever. Oh, I think we're there. Let's back it off. Did we get there? Yes, we did. Awesome. Now I find the directions. Replacement time, three hours? I don't think so. I'm hoping it doesn't take me three hours to replace this one line. I gotta take a peek underneath to see how it routes and which one it actually is. I can't really tell from here. I have a feeling it might be bolted in someplace underneath also. And uh, yes, there is a little retaining bolt and a little clamp, right? Over there. I can't reach it from here. I gotta jack this thing up a little bit. Let me see if I can break the uh, line loose first on the steering box. That's the big part of the battle. Just enough room to fit a flare wrench on, but not a lot of room to swing it. This is where I would need a crow's foot with a long extension, which I don't have where I'm at. So let me see what we could uh, do to uh, loosen this up. A little pry. Ooh. Oh, that moved. Okay. It's probably not turning on the inside of that fitting, but we wiggled that. Let's work with that see what we can do. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Well, now we're totally committed because we have found a regular crow's foot and the inside is seized. So we kept twisting until it actually broke off. Still going to fight with this. Work on classic cars, they said. It'll be fun. Well, it still is fun. Yay! All right, we got that clamp undone and we got this greasy mess of a hose out. Had to finagle around with it to get it to kind of pull out that way, so. Let's get out underneath here and clean up a little bit before we try to put this back in. See that? I'm fixing your Cadillac for you. You're more interested in the drop light. What do you smell? Power steering fluid? Test fit your parts. That does not thread in as far as the old one does. That's what I was talking about with some of these replacement parts you get. It's in there, but I like to catch a few more threads. Well, make it work. Well, that took a lot of fiddling to get the hose back fished in there. We gotta tighten up the, uh, that's a 3 8 uh, bolt in there. That retains the thing up to the frame, and then we'll tighten up the other end. It's just finger tight in the box right now. Let me get that done. We'll hook up this when we get the pump in place. We got a flare nut, crow's foot, and a long extension to tighten this up. It's the only way you'll be able to do it. You need to make this really tight with a brand new uh, hose because it's got to seat into the uh, piece. So make it tight. You got the pump fitted back in. Everything is finger tight at this point even the line, so we got everything going the way we like. I'm gonna chop off a little bit of that old hose there and slip this back on. And then we'll tighten everything up. We'll tighten these bolts first on the uh, 
pump to the bracket, then we will tension the uh, belt and then tighten up our uh, pressure line. Everything's tight, the belt is tensioned. Gotta fill it up with fluid and check for leaks. Nice and Working. smooth, quiet. Except someone stole the dashboard. Okay, out for a little test drive. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.